Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first stop for a clinically insane Starfield gameplay. This is part 23 of my hardcore survival mode run. Playing Starfield on very hard difficulty with some extra rigorous rules of engagement. I'll put an overview of that up on the screen, and for the complete crazy details, please read the video description. Alright, enough of the small talk, let's get busy, and busy we will get. This is big business. Um, in honor of the Major Slack R&D department, who's been working very hard all morning, I'm going to call this video Research and Development. First thing I want to do is um, make some ship upgrades. So let's just uh, get to the ship like the real lazy way. We have money. Oh yeah, I should recap what I just did off camera. We last left off, uh, we we're just about to finish the Mantis mission. The Mantis mission was finished, all I had to do was just like uh, grab a whole bunch of weapons that I may have forgotten, which I did, and then I grabbed the Mantis, sold off all the weapons, sold off the Mantis, and um, here I am with 121,000 credits, okay? Back at the Bezel 3B base, base rather. Let's put some new weapons on the Star Spangler. And we're also going to like add some a whole bunch of cargo to the cargo ship. Alright, Star Spangler, you're getting an upgrade. Let's get rid of all these old uh, Disruptor 3300 electron beams here. Get you some way better particle beam weapons, namely... these bad boys here. The PB-300 Alpha Beam. Four, please. That's what I'm talking about. And let's add a little more cargo space here. Where is that? This spot right here. Not much, just a little bit. Whatever fits. This one right here. And you only have one error. Unassigned weapons. And we're still good, still good no mobility. It's surprising. Okay, and we're good. Wait a minute. A little paint job on that cargo. Actually, I want the this black and this preferably white. There you go. Done and done. Okay, so there's a new badass Star Spangler with better weapons. Now, the cargo ship. For this, we're going to have to go to new homestead because I want to put a couple more of these um, landing gears on these really good landing gears that have um, four landing thrusts on them those are only available at new homestead so Sol Saturn Titan new homestead Alright, Mr. Laptop, what do I do? Add Nova Bracer and NG20 landing gear times 2. Okay, I know what to do. Spin around the bottom here. Let's just duplicate this. Put it there. Duplicate that. Put it there. Duplicate that. Put it there. Done. Next. I need a better reactor. Where's my reactor? There's my reactor. What kind of better reactor? The Theta Pinch A9 reactor. Take that out.
Then a pinch A9. It doesn't fit. Let's take this guy out. Try this again. Bet a pinch A9. Now it fits. There we go. Are you sure about this, Mr. Laptop? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. That's pretty expensive. Alright, next. Pretty expensive for a cargo ship. Yeah, we need that. Uh... Um. Now I need to buy the NG220 grab drive and it says go back to base but it might be available here. This is my old grab drive. Whoops, see daisy. The NG220 grab drive, is it available here? There it is. Very good. And I'm going to get the unattached modules error. Where can we put the engine? Up one? Up? No. Okay, the landing gear we can just move up like this. There we go. No. Mr. Laptop didn't tell me what to do with the engine that got unattached. Um, okay, give me a minute to figure this out. Maybe I can put a uh, Nova Bracer here. There we go. Okay. Done. Still unattached modules. This guy here. Now, okay, I know I'm supposed to add a Nova Bracer here and add some Galleon S204 cargo here. These babies right here, these big bad boys right here. And I'm supposed to add um, just keep adding them until. I ran out of money, or there's an error. I ran out of money. At any rate, um, this is just an approximation of what I finally did because I'm going to skip ahead anyways because I'm going to be moving like creating. A whole bunch of uh ba 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 think slack think. I haven't had my breakfast yet. Um <laughs> adaptive I mean power leveling, adaptive frames and isocentered magnets. So this is basically an approximation. I'll show you the final cargo ship um in a minute. But that's pretty much it. My notes say my cargo should be at 10 5 30 and I've got 10 8 30 so I did better it doesn't matter okay so we're good everything's good and I'm not gonna bother painting it because like I said I'm gonna skip ahead and show you the final version after um I do some power leveling okay so we got a new cargo ship the whole point is to to bump up the cargo to 10,000 okay so now I'm gonna go back to base and power level. Crank out a whole bunch of isocentered magnets, adaptive frames, take them to market. I'm going to take them to 
my civilian outpost here because now's the time to use that and sell them off quickly there. Okay, I need eight skill points. Four for research method, method, <laughs> four for research methods, and four for weapon engineering. And I don't have any skill points at all. So, Offcam Slack, would you give me eight skill points, please? Thank you very much. And now we can start power leveling, research methods, and weapon engineering. And let me just show you the, uh, there. That's my final cargo ship. Not quite what I put together, what I showed you, but like pretty much the same thing. I added a whole bunch of these Galleon S204 cargo holds. And the cargo is up to a whopping 13,490. Okay, that's like, and as I was power leveling, I was adding more and more cargo holds. Like I was using the money that I was earning to add more and more cargo holds. So now I've got like a one, two, three, four, five of these galley S204s. So that's how I got up to 13,490. All right, so that's our new cargo ship. All right, now. We have eight skill points. We want to get up to weapon engineering. We need to spend four more four more points in science to unlock advanced science skills. Let's do this one. Okay, and the challenge is craft five unique food, drinks, drugs, weapon mods, or equipment mods. We're gonna focus on weapon mods because uh, that's exactly what we want to do. All right, we're gonna work on the refined breach. Long barrel, laser sight, short scope, tactical stock, tactical magazine, and there we go, research methods, challenge one is complete, let's back on out. Rank two, craft 10 unique food, drinks, drugs, weapon mods, or equipment mods, gonna do the same thing. Okay, refined Beowulf. Um, refined Beowulf, you. Long barrel. Ergonomic grip. Four grip with laser sight. Tactical magazine. And we're going to re rename this sucker. Old Beowulf. remind me that the damage is kind of lagging behind the others. By the way, I got some kick-ass weaponry now. Um, I got this coachman that does 240 damage. I got something else. that does. This thing here, the refined breach. This is another shotgun. You may notice. Yeah. Alright, um, next. Coachman. My notes say put the short barrel on Coachman and then put the standard barrel back on, which will count towards our progress in the challenge. Next, no mod laser sight. Very good. 
Iron sights, reflex sight. There we go. Research methods two complete. Next challenge, craft 15. Yada yada yada, and we're gonna focus once again on weapon mods. Okay, back to the coachman, working on the coachman. Same thing, we're just gonna like, um, short barrel, standard barrel, that'll give us two. No mod, laser sight, that'll give us four. Down to optic. Iron Sight's Reflex Sight. That'll give us 6. Down to Muzzle. Compensator No Mod. That'll give us 8. Down to Grip. Tactical Stop. Tactical Stock. Standard Stock. Um, and I just want to put the tactical stock back on, even though we're not going to get a point for that. But I want to put this back on because it's better for this shotgun. And that's it for this shotgun. We're going to rename it. The Bleeding Buckshot. That's what I'm talking about. Down to the lawgiver. You are going to get a standard barrel and a long barrel. That'll give us 12. Iron sights and short scope. That should give us 14. All we need is one more. So how about compensator? No mod. We go over complete, but I don't want to leave the compensator on. I want to put no mod back on this. There we go. So now we are complete. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to rename the lawgiver. Yeah, you get a new name. Your new name is Backup Rifle 50 Cal. Done and done. There we go. Okay, so now we can spend one final point in science because we need to spend one more point here. So here, rank four. And now we can start working on weapon engineering. Let's get weapon engineering rank one. And this is gonna be dead easy. Dead easy. Because all we have to do is craft five weapon bonds. But note, they do not have to be unique. So we can just go back and forth between Compensator and no mod. Compensator, no mod. Compensator, no mod. To go all the way up. So we can do this on the... Um, the Lawgiver. Down to Muzzle. There we go. That's it. Who loves you? That's right, Slack loves you. And don't you forget it. Rank 2. Same thing. Down to muzzle. No mod. Compensator. Smoke him if you got him. This could take a minute or two. As you can see, the materials required are ones that we have a lot of at the, here at the base. There we go. Rank 3, we need to craft 30 weapon mods.
see how fast I can do this. Working it, boss. Working it. <laughs> done and done. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. So we're all done now. That's it. Maxed out weapon engineering. Maxed out research methods. Now we are cooking with gas. Let's go do some research. Wait a minute. Major disaster. Where is your blue lab uniform? Take that sucker out and slap it on. I don't care how dorky you look. Take one for the team. All right, a little quick save here. And we're gonna work on as many weapon research as we can. Okay, I wanna start off with optic and laser mods too, because that's the most important. Okay, so what are we looking at here? I always start with the one that you have the most of, so let's go with aluminum. Okay, we got a bonus there. And some chlorosilanes, which we have. Very good. Next, optic and laser mods three. We have the most of adhesive. Come on, baby. Bonus, out of boy. Canadian. Excellent. Optic and laser mods. That's it. Now we can put recon scopes. Excellent. Okay, so let's do as many other research projects in the weapon department as bottles. Start with barrel mods. We got a ton of tungsten. Give me a bonus, baby. Okay, the game's gonna make us work for this one. I have a funny feeling we're gonna run out of loop again. Grip and stock mods. There we go. Good, I wanted a bonus in polymer. Griffin stock mods three. Titanium, polymer, polymer, or adhesive. Titanium. And it's gonna make me work for the adhesive. Or the polymer rather. Okay, makes the progress here. Tungsten, oh, I should have done the tungsten first. Ah, there we go. Here's the bonus. Always start with the one that you have the most of. Also mods. Um, and I'm out of tantalum yet. Okay, I kind of expected that. Short on polymer. Oh, excellent. <laughs> One shot. Critical hit. Next. Oh, sweet. Okay, getting the bonuses here. Internal mods. Um, start with this one. Eh. Eh. Oh, come on, game. There we go. Oh, nice. No tantalum. And short on adhesive. I kind of expected that. Okay. Finally, receiver mods. Oh, nice. OK, 
Okay, so that's it. This is completely different from the way it turned out in practice runs. I kind of expected this. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a list of what I need to finish up. Okay, so muzzle mods, I need two tantalum and two polymer. Done and done. Next, this is blocked. Here I need four tantalum. So now we're looking at six tantalum and two adhesive. Here we're looking at four iter beam. And two lubricant. And I believe I also need, because I definitely want to make some recon scopes, um, some europium. For example, the backup here down to optic. Yes, sir, that's what we want. So here I need uh, one adhesive. I got some zero wire. We need one europium. So let's make that three adhesive. Europium. One. At least. Okay, I'll do the rest off camera, figure out what I need. But yeah, we got a little shopping list. So I'm going to have to figure this out off camera. The most effective way to get these. Tantalum, polymer, adhesive, iterbium, lubricant, and europium. So that's it for this video. <laughs> what did I say? That's it for this video. Yeah, I need to have breakfast. I need to have breakfast. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informed, damn, you look like a total dork there, major disaster. Jeez. What is the, what benefits is this? Oh yeah, the weapon holster is just too bad. The best mod. No, you're gonna have to suck it up there, major. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to suck it up. We need that suit. Yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remote remotely entertaining and or informative you know to do give me a thumbs up post a comment and most importantly subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press all right see you next time for some more hardcore survival hey guys real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on youtube for a complete lowdown on the youtube video game walkthrough scene check out my patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly major slack to help keep real walkthroughs alive on youtube you can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.